Hey, what's up guys? Solely Dubbed here and today I'm doing a overview and review of the Perix PX1800. So this keyboard is a US layout keyboard. So before I get into it, uh, as I am in the UK, it is a US lay uh, uh, layout. You've got a small enter button and you've got the uh, at sign and the actual pound key over here. It's a gaming um, membrane keyboard um, and it's got uh, three different colors of backlight which I'll get to in a second. It can be purchased for £20 which is super cheap in the link in the description below from Amazon.co.uk. So this keyboard is absolutely excellent I've got to say. I've been using it for gaming and typing and I've been very much impressed. But before I get into my um, subjective opinions I should probably get onto the features. So on the side over here you've actually got buttons. They're not just pretty lights, they're actually buttons. And if I go a little bit closer you'll be able to see there's like a little illumination button. If I press that you can see the keys are going to start dimming until they get into another one which essentially cycles between the three colors. The colors are red, green and a yellow greenish tinge. So I'm going to put it on uh, max brightness and then I'm going to change the color. So you can change it from red, greenish yellow, off and green. Over here you've got a really clever button. It says WASD and so WASD as some of you might know is for running on FPS games. This is quite clever. As you can see, there's little arrow keys over here, and on the uh, on the arrow keys over here, you've got WASD. When I press this button, essentially all it does is it switches these uh, buttons with these three buttons, and that means what? Well, these four buttons, should I say? Well, what it means is that this is now WASD, and this is now the arrow keys, so left, right, up, and down. So to demonstrate this, I'm just quickly gonna show you on the uh, computer. So as you can see. This, um, uh, as I'm trying to say, this is uh, left and right, and this is WSD. So I'm just going to be uh, pressing uh, S, um, and you'll be able to see it advancing over there with S. So it's pretty cool. Um, the fact that you get to um, you get to change this, it's quite a little nifty little feature. So I really really like this because I've never seen it in another keyboard, and especially at a keyboard at such a reasonable price, absolutely excellent um, from Perix. Then you've got the repeat rate, 30 and 60, um, you can change the repeat rate. So 30 um, essentially is what you'd uh, expect. So on 30, if I just zoom in a little bit, you'll be able to see it just in a little bit de detail. I'm going to delete all of this and press Y. So I'm just going to hold down Y. Look at the speed that it's going on. Now I'm going to press the 60 button, well the, the button between 30 and 60, and now look at the repeat rate. Can you see how much faster it is? I'm just holding it down. Now 30, holding it down, pressing again 60, as you can see, that is what the repeat rate does. And you might be saying, what is that for? Why would you ever use that? Well, if you're an MMORPG gamer or RTS gamer, then you will really appreciate that. If you're an FPS gamer, it probably will be uh, no use to you. Then you've got a win lock button, which is over here. So if you press that win lock, um, it, it, you, nothing happens. And if you press it again, then it's enabled. Over here you've got a keyboard lock. Now I'm not sure why you would use this, but there is a button for it. If you press it, nothing works on your keyboard. Press it again and then suddenly everything is fine. On this keyboard, you're also not really strived of uh, functionalities because Perix have been very good to include media functionalities. You've got all the media functionalities you're going to need, um, so volume down, volume up, mute, stop, uh, previous, next, play, pause, um, uh, a shortcut to your media player, and then you've even got shortcut to your email and um, your browser, your default browser is a key, uh, keyboard lock again, and then this is a um, quick access to the calculator the Windows calculator. So it's absolutely brilliant. In terms of features, top class. How do I feel now in terms of typing? Now typing wise, I'll, I've got to say it wouldn't be my preference. If I had to choose a cheap keyboard, it'd probably be the Perix PX1100, which I've previously reviewed. That was a really nice keyboard to type on because it was really nice and soft. This on the other hand is a little bit more stiff. So it felt a little harder to type on and if I had to compare it to mechanical keyboards this would be kind of like a black switch keyboard in terms of typing. It's a little harder to press. But that said, on the gaming front, 
absolutely excellent. As it's harder to press, your um, you you make fewer errors because you don't accidentally press buttons which are soft. It's very it's harder to press them down. So if you're an FPS gamer, I think you'll like this. Um, but if you are someone who's going to be typing a lot and you want to be gaming as well might not be my pick. That is subjective because I personally don't like keyboards which are a little bit hard to press but that is my subjective opinion. I should also um, show you a listening test and just before I do I'll just give you a quick overview of the keyboard. So as you can see you've got the colors over here which are those uh, buttons. You've got a nice Perix logo over here which is uh, of a different material. On the side over here you've got a nice little logo with the PX1800 gaming keyboard logo over here. At the top you've got the num lock, caps lock and win lock buttons so if I hit the, the win lock button it comes up there and num lock over there and caps lock over there. And underneath you've got a very simple uh, layout, you've just got a couple of rubber bits over here and you've got the flip up um, things over here. The wire is also braided which is nice, it's like a very dark blue and it's very very thin which is a little bit worrying but it's no problem. I should also mention that this keyboard comes with no software which is absolutely brilliant in my opinion because you don't have to uh, wonder and um, uh, have any problems with any sort of software uh, conflicts. No software. Plug and play, drivers are installed via the internet, via Windows, and bang, Bob's your uncle, you can get down and play and type. So now I'm going to go on to the listing test, which I'm going to bring the keyboard down, uh, bring the key, um, the camera down to the keyboard. God, there we go. <laughs> there we got there, and finally. You can see in the background is my mechanical keyboard. So I'm just going to be typing and I'll just be silent. So as you can hear, it's a little bit, um, it's quite nice and silent, it doesn't make loads of noise, but the PX1100 in my opinion was a bit more silent and much easier to press. One thing I should mention about pressing is this shift button over here and even the shift button over there are nice and large and they are in some respect a little bit on um, a different gradient. I don't know how to explain this, but the control key is a little bit higher raised than the, um, the these buttons over here, and especially the shift key. I don't know if that's done on purpose or not, but it is a cool implementation for FPS gamers because it's just um, so, uh, easier to press. Also, I did find it a little softer to press in comparison to the other keys. It feels, for some reason, just a little easier. I don't know quite how to explain it apart from you gotta try it for yourselves. Um, it is easier to press than the keys. Very weird. Whereas the enter key just feels like all the other keys on the keyboard. So, thought to mention that because it's uh, just something I noticed, um, including this shift key over here. So, I'm, I'm only guessing that it's been a softer, um, designed a bit softer for FPS gamers so that, you know, when they're running, they don't get tired of constantly holding shift. So, if that's uh, purposeful, then great job Perix because that's a very small feature to add in there, but super um, into for FPS gamers. Anyway guys, um, this has been a review for the Perix uh, PX1800 um, gaming keyboard. Um, I've got to say top marks to Perix, 10 out of 10 in my opinion, especially at its price, unbelievable um, quality for what you get. You really can't go wrong. It's uh, it's backlit, it's really nice to game on, depending on your preference it could be nice to type on, it's got great functionalities left and, and at the top, um, and overall uh, just looks and feels brilliant, really nice, great job Perix, highly recommended it. So if you guys want to check this keyboard out, make sure you check in the link in the description below. If you like this video, make sure you give it a nice uh, healthy thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe. And it always helps if you can favorite and share a video because it's always good to spread the word. All right, guys, I've been totally dubbed and it's been the Perix PX1800. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.